Okay, so now we're going to glue the sections, the frame together. Now I have pre-drilled pre a couple of these, but it's more just sort of I'm a bit rusty than anything else. Very simple process. Bit of glue on the ends. Now I stick to the these sort of glues for the framing. Although you can get a very tight fit with cedar, I just tend to use the bulky glue so it does pick up any in, indiscretions and not tight joins. Now we're only putting the frame together at this stage. Glue all my pieces, drop them in because if I glue my ends, I'll get in trouble. So, uh, the body, I'll, I'll end up sticking the frame together. So at this stage, like I say, we're just putting our frame together quickly. Now, if I was doing a commercial bench for a swim centre or the likes, we wouldn't only just screw it, we'd actually dowel it too, and I'll show that in another video. This stage just will give you an idea of how simple this process is and what a great result you actually end up with. Here we go, we've got those there. Now I just use the drill. I'm a, the young guys all grab the impact drivers and do it at 100 miles an hour and I'm sure that that's fine, but for me, the suit is fine. Like I say, when you're dealing with cedar, we're not really liking this to need anything other than a, a bit of a got what I'm saying here. Now I've got to be careful I don't leave these out exposed in the front face because remember we've got our decorative board that will go Right, so now what we've done is we've marked the body of this bench, we'll lift our frame off, out of the way for the time being, and what you'll see is our markings. Now just remember, again, we don't want glue along this front section where that front plate is going to sit at this stage. So we're going to glue the areas between the lines and not along that front face. We'll see what I mean. So I'm going. So we do want a wood to, to wood join, and that's our goal, of course, because we don't want them pushed away and rocking. Um, if you know what I mean? If the, if the glue is to break down over a period of time and it starts to rock on the screw, you'll get breaking the timber away. But, You'll see how simple it is and how easy it seems to go together. And it's a very tried method, tried and proven method. Uh, we've been using it for 30 years on the New Zealand market. And most of the companies, or most of the opposition, um, are using the same method because they've all worked here at some stage or other. And that's where they... So what you're actually going to be doing is creating the same bench as you would have had to pay someone else to give you. And when you see how nicely they go together, you will be quite pleased with yourself. Last opportunity to make sure these corners are all pushed in nice and tight. 
our gaps are all even, so we're good to go. Now let's get our frame back onto the jaw. So I'm going to spin it slightly, but we're sitting that back there, nice and flush, looking good. Now we'll get our hundred screws out. Remember when you're putting this first one in for your first board, you've got two screws through there. So I tend to go back through here, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pre-drill them. Now, like I say, the young fellas don't bother, and they're um, just give them a start. Simply because I'm rusty. Now we're getting one in every board. And we put one through the body. Just rev it on that last piston. That why I rev it is so when it hits that first board, as you'll see there, it's got a nice pulled nice and tight. Sometimes as it drives through, if you're doing it continuous, it will push just push the board away. And when it happens, when that happens, we'll just reverse it and then re drive it in. So through the body then. I'm just, as you see, just pulling the head down a touch, and bearing it into the body so we're getting a good bite into our timber. We're probably in a good 13 mil. So the screw's doing some work, and so is the, um, the glue. I tend to do the one on the side here for these end ones because of again a little two or three mil recess nice and tidy and just gives us a bit more bite of our material. I would say you might want to you might want to use the impact driver you use stainless steel I mean, it's always good to use stainless steel piece. Although not compulsory, I know years ago I was told that cedar would eat normal screws and I have found it to be sort of a half truth. But that's certainly the, the cedar the, the chemicals, that, the preservatives in the cedar are very, very um, strong and they can damage, but even if they don't wreck the screw, they will eat the thread and they will give nasty stains so the great thing about stainless is what we're building is a product here that can be confident will last you a lifetime so having been doing this for 30 years now i can say that without a doubt when you consider that the timber is between 500 and 1000 years old it's certainly going to see us out. Right, well, we've cut that so you can save you having to watch me screw, 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 but uh, that went pretty smoothly, pretty um, pretty well. We'll just lock this last one off and then we're going to get around to just showing you the that front face. Maybe we'll use the 50s. Just to lock our front face on. Now the screws are the screws earlier on when we cut that sixth board. That's the face. Remember we've got the two faces, the finished face, little pre-edged, and then we've got the laminated back. So obviously 
So that will go in here. So we'll just apply our glue. A bit more tightly if we can with this. As we don't really want it oozing, so we'll put just a thin layer on that top base. But we do want it pushed into that top section. Daisy. Yes. Okay, so we've glued that front face. I've done a pre few pre screws, got some glue on the face. What I want to make sure of, obviously, I've got my nice face out. I'm going to put that down in there. Push it in our gap that we set it aside with. Push it down nice and tight. Push it in. Then we're using 50. Push down, please. Nice clock. Now there you go. Probably 20 minutes for that bench. Maybe all up 30. Completed. Now I'll show you the finished result that you've achieved. We'll turn that over.